What's going on guys? Welcome back to the lab. Um, so I decided to change the system from 24 volt to 12 volt because I decided to go with a go power inverter charger system because uh, I just heard so many good things about them. So um, we got to remake the battery. And so to, today we're going to be taking the 150 amp hour 3.2 volt, volt cells and we're going to turn that into a 300 amp hour 12 volt battery. All right, so I have them in pairs where they're positive, positive, negative, negative, so that I am um, paralleling and then I'm seriesing. So it'll be positive, positive, negative, negative, positive, positive, negative, negative, all the way down. And uh, once I start getting the bus bars on there, then I will uh, actually take this and turn it to this side so it will fit in the battery box because this length is just slightly too long to sit in the box the way that it was before. Um, quick little tip too is, uh, if you don't want to use the bus bars that come with, uh, your cells that you order from China, you can get an $8 copper tube from your local hardware store. And I got five foot of copper. So it turned it out, it turned out making 19 bus bars. I don't even need to put drill holes in those because these are all that I need. I already marked them where I need to drill the holes in them. But this was three quarter inch copper pipe at five foot and it was only eight dollars and some change. So, you know, just with a little bit of time, you can save yourself, uh, save yourself some money there. Anyway, so um, let me go ahead and get to drilling holes in these so that way I can start mounting them to this um, and I will be back. All right, so with minimal effort, I have all the bus bars I need. They're flattened out and I got my holes drilled in them. So I'm going to start putting them on the battery here and uh, I might set up a time lapse for that. I'll be back. All right, with all the bus bars on top, we're gonna have our uh, main positive on this side and the main negative is on this side. So let's see the voltage. The leads backwards. There we go, 13.91. That is a 12 volt battery, folks. All right, so I'm gonna start trying to get this in uh, my battery box and I will be back once I got it in there. All right, so I have the batteries in the box and I have the bus bars all put on it so that it is a um, 12 volt battery. I have the balance leads for the balancer. See if we can get away from that glare um but that's it that's pretty simple i mean if you saw my 24 volt battery um build this is the same thing except for instead of running it all in series to make a 24 volt battery you ran uh four groups of parallel in series to make a 300 amp hour 12 volt battery um yeah and as uh, like I said in the last video, I'm still waiting for the BMS to come in the mail. Um, as soon as that comes in, I'll be hooking that up to this and it's done. 
I'll uh, probably do a video later more on BMSs once I get that in because you need to size your BMS according to your battery bank and according to the inverter you're using. Um, the more wattage the inverter is, the higher amperage, the uh, charge and discharge that the uh, BMS needs to be. But uh, anyways, thanks thanks so much for watching everybody. Uh, hit like, subscribe. You know, every time you subscribe, Nova gets a frisbee throw. All right. Mm. <laughs> All right, thanks guys.